How y'all doing today? Well, I got tagged in another video, this time by Jerry Hagelman. It's about my favorite knife. Well, at the current time, I want to tell y'all, it's going to be a knife that nobody's really expecting. I'm sure everybody's waiting for me to pull out one of my high dollar custom jobs, which I do have, and I'll be showing some other videos. This knife right here, not the most expensive I have, and it's not the cheapest I have, but it's one I've been carrying down there every day for about two years now, and I'm beating it. I've been beating it. I mean, uh, it could have been a kind of a test, really, a long-term uh, review on it. That's this knife right here. Y'all see that thing? Quarter-inch thick. That's old Charade 36 Frontier. Anybody shocked by that? Yeah, this sucker here. It's coming through, through some uh, through some stuff out in the woods. I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to break it, truthfully. Well, about two years now, I've been abusing this now. It didn't come like this. I modified it a little bit. Had that black coating on the blade. I didn't like that. I took it off. You know. You know. I sharpen it, you know. I would say razor edge sharp, but pretty close. I was there a while ago just carving on stuff. You can kind of see. You get the picture anyway. That's been a good enough. I'm going to do uh, some other videos and other knives I've had, or I have, one day soon, but this is the one right now. I carry every day. Quarter inch thick. This sucker is heavy, I ain't gonna lie. I got other handles for it I made. Wooden handles and stuff. I'm gonna put them on there one day. But uh This is it right now. I don't actually call it my favorite. That's my most carried right now, I guess. You know, I carry it every day. I don't care about messing it up really or none of that. If I do, you know, well, ain't that expensive. I already broke an SE. I think it was the SE5 I had. I stamped that sucker in too. I didn't think I could do that, but apparently you can. But really, in all fairness, though, I was prying some crap with it. I shouldn't have been. You know, I broke a lot of knives over the years. You know? I broke that bench maze and it hurt my heart. But, uh, that's when I finally decided a few years back to buy this sucker and uh, carry it and use it. I've done that baton and baton and all that junk with it, you know. And I carry hatchets for that mainly. But anyway, for one knife I carry around here at the place, this does it for me right here. I'm going to switch it up for long probably. But right now, you can't beat this thing. I know people that are brand snobs or whatever ain't gonna like this or think that's oh that's this old cheap charade made in China or wherever and all that but whatever it's suiting my purpose you know but uh I've been using this, this crock stick right here you know uh A.G. Russell I don't y'all see that but they sharpen stuff like you wouldn't believe I bought some things right there at a Resell, resell shop for a dollar. Can't beat that. Anyway, that's the knife I'm carrying around right now. Yeah, not bad. I'll break out another knife for y'all for long. Something won't disappoint y'all as much. If I ever do break this thing, I'm gonna hope I get it on video and show y'all how it got broke. But until then. I don't know. I need to find something else, to, another knife to buy. I got different kinds. I just don't know. That's that Becker. You can't beat that thing either, really. Anyway, I'll do this B-yard. That's Jerry. Get back with him on it. I like that knife he got in his. I'll go check it out. I'll put a link down here somewhere about that video he made. Uh, Anyway, that's what I got today. 
Well, I'll see you all there. I have a good one.